All right, we're going to look at GSRT C7. Uh, this is a very small objective, easy to accomplish. It just says explain and use the relationship between sine and cosine of complement angles. So uh, really, sometimes that term is called a co-function, a relationship between two different functions uh, of sine and cosine. We're going to learn it and use it to calculate things. A very simple objective. It, I guess what's the big idea? Well, in the last objective, I talked about how uh, there are a lot of patterns to be found. One of the patterns students find is that sine starts at zero and progresses to one over zero through 90. Cosine does the exact opposite thing in terms of the order. And what I do with them is I take that table and I say, can you look up the sine of uh, 20 for me? And they go to that table and find some number and then I say, hmm, where is that same number elsewhere? And they, sure enough, they say, ah, it's over here at 70. And then I, and I tend to use numbers that are very easy to pick from, that they can see when I say, why is this happening? Or what is the pattern? And they notice that they sum to 90 here. And that's when I take some time to talk about how what's going on is that if we are in a triangle, these have to be complement angles. And if I find the sine of 20, I'm talking about the ratio of this side to this side. And if I say the cosine of 70, I'm comparing the same two sides. So this little co-function relationship is because they're in the same triangle looking from different aspects of the triangle. So we connect to trigonometry. It doesn't have a lot of uh, use outside of we, when we get into quadrants and a few things like that. We talk a bit about that in future mathematics. Uh, traps, pitfalls, I guess the only thing is is that, you know, if I say to them what's the sine of 40 equal to the cosine of what, nobody gets that wrong. If I say the sine of 2x plus 4 equals the cosine of uh, 6x minus 8, <clears throat> um, they struggle with this. Uh, even if you tell them what to do with this, they still want to set that equal to that. And that's not true. You set the angle added to this angle equals 90. Uh, and that's about the only thing that they would trip on, I think.